Hey guys, it's Coach Steve, and you're at this week's workout brief. Starting on Monday, we're going to come in and we're going to do our strength work on deadlifts every 90 seconds, uh, building to one rep. Um, and this should be, this one rep should be 85 to 90% of your one rep max. The reason we're not going any higher is because that rest time is a little bit short. So that will make it feel more challenging than maybe the weight would alone. Uh, but the point is we're going pretty darn heavy. Anything above 80% um, should be in that area that starts to build that strength. So we're building strength and reducing the amount of rest so that you do that in a little bit of not fully recovered state. Once we're done with that, we're going into um, four cycles of every two minutes and 30 seconds, a 400 meter run, and then max number of deadlifts in the remaining time. And we're gonna rest a minute 30 between rounds. So everybody's on the same cycle here. Uh, we can set up the clock, everybody's doing the same things. Um, and these deadlifts should be moderately heavy. These, these shouldn't be something you're just gonna pound out a ton of reps. It's something that's going to challenge you a little bit, especially after that run where you're breathing a little bit hard. So try, try to go at a, a sustainable pace on that run so you can come in and get right to work. Um, and then that minute and a half should be pretty close to enough that you're going pretty darn close to the same output every single round um, and not really draining off too much four rounds, you should be able to maintain pretty good output on this. On Tuesday, we're, we're going back in for our back squats with a two second pause, two sets of three, two sets of two. Again, this is building on what we've been doing. So kind of keeping in mind what you have been doing because that's important here and really focus on being strong in the bottom part of that squat practice being in that position, holding good, solid, um, loaded bottom position. Then we're going into a 10 minute AMRAP, 12 box jumps, 12 kettlebell swings, and just what you would expect from a 10 minute AMRAP, this one's going to start to add up. This is something that you should be able to push moderately hard, but don't want to go too crazy on. Um, so think about this is gonna this is gonna push your comfort level just a little bit, maybe not to the max, um, but definitely something that you can push through both of these movements. Twelve reps of box jumps and twelve kettlebell swings are is not the most, so you can go through those reps um, unbroken and really just focus in on going at a pace that you can maintain. Those kettlebell swings, especially at the start, should be unbroken. So keep that in mind. Push this. A little bit harder, 10 minutes is going to go by pretty quick. Maybe not as fast as you want to, though. On Wednesday, we're getting right into a 24-minute AMRAP, 48 sit-ups, 24 calories on the bike, 48 ball slams, 24 hollow rocks. Um, and the whole point of this is steady state. What can you maintain? What pace can you move at? How can you keep just slugging along for that 24 minutes? No long breaks here. Just do the work at a nice, consistent pace. Um, after that, we're getting into a four-round cash out for quality. Banded pull-throughs, so, so a band pull uh, hooked up to the rig, kind of like a kettlebell swing pulling, pulling through. Um, with, with a band and then 10 single legged glute bridges on each side, quality over anything on these guys. On Thursday, building our capacity for wall walks and toes to bar, adding to what we did last week. So if you did this workout last week um, and you were able to sustain, do a little bit more. Um, you should be practicing rhythm more than completely tiring yourself out. Although that being said, the last couple of rounds of this may get a little bit harder, maybe a little bit more of a struggle. So keep that in mind, but rhythm to start, don't go into a place of complete duress that first or second round. Um, this That's not the point of this uh, skill session. Once we're done with that, we're getting into a 12 round EMOM 
ping-ponging between two movements. The first minute, you're going to do a moderately heavy double on the clean and jerks. Um, this should be something that is a little bit of a challenge, not a touch and go. Um, so it's it's going to take a little bit of mental focus, but you should have plenty of time to hit two reps on the clean and jerk. That should not be the issue. The weight should be a little bit of just having to focus you back in. Should not be something that you have a lot of misses. The second minute, you're going to do 50 dumbbell unders. This is going to put you in a little bit of a breathing uh, situation where you're trying to breathe hard, focus in, do something that's very, very different than that heavy clean and jerk. And we're going to ping pong back and forth between these two um, with the goal of being just being able to maintain those two movements through the entire 12, 12 minute EMOM. On Friday, we're going right into the benchmark workout, Cindy. That's 20 minutes of five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats. And we're looking at that moderately high um, heart rate, moderately high, a little bit on the muscle stamina side. So just trying to find that place where you can you can be in that balance and you're not going to peter out. You should at the end of this one be, be pushing towards that max end um, to where you're pushing all out. But wait till the last two minutes before you really start going into that. You will have one movement that will most likely stand out as the hard one for a lot of people. That's the push-ups. Um, so don't go to failure on that. Don't go to muscle failure. That's not the goal of this. But this should be high rounds. We're looking at something, think 14 rounds or more would be the right place to go. That's going to give you the right breathing and metabolic response that we're looking for for this. After that, we're going into a cash out four rounds every two minutes and 30 seconds, 12 dumbbell, dumbbell floor press, 12 dumbbell bent over row, both sides, same time, two dumbbells. Um, because of what Cindy was, these dumbbells may be very much lighter than they would be normally. We're focusing on really getting into that muscle contraction here. So this should be muscle fatigue. This should be focusing on squeezing those muscles very, very hard as you're doing each rep. And that should be the intensity. You don't have to go super heavy to really focus on squeezing those muscles really hard, especially when they're already pre-fatigued. On Saturday, we had some people during our CrossFit Bingo elect to buy raffle tickets and purchase the option of making their own wad. And that's what's that's what's programmed for, for Saturday. We have the wor workout that was agreed upon with Tristan and Annette, and that's musical uh, chairs, musical med ball. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with the music playing, just play normal musical chairs, except instead of running around the circle, everybody's doing sit-ups on one end of the gym. When the music stops, run to the far side, complete 15 med ball, med ball shots, wall ball shots, and then go to find your seat. Just like musical chairs, there's going to be one seat not available. One person's going to be out. That person's out. We remove another chair and we keep repeating until there's only one person left. Now, if you get out, that's not the end of the story. You continue to do the sit-ups and the wall ball shots each round. You just do not have that time constraint of trying to beat other people to a chair. So you don't get out of doing any of the work, but we do wanna see who can move quickly, efficiently, and effectively through these movements and see who is the last man standing or woman standing. Once we're done with that, we're going into a cash out, four rounds, 12 stiff leg sumo deadlifts, 12 Bulgarian split squats per leg. And this is for quality again. And just like the cash out from Friday where we're focusing on muscle squeeze, that's the focus on this, just on the posterior side of the legs. That's what we have coming up this week, guys. Look forward to seeing you in the gym. Bye.